Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm back. Um, there's been a few things going on uh, behind the scenes that I haven't been able to do this for quite a few weeks. Um, there is other things going on in my life as well. Um, but anyway, I'm back. The channel's going to have a bit of a switch up. Um, it is no longer going to be uh, Premier League prediction for now I'm just going to put it into a Brighton perspective um, obviously most of you know I'm a Brighton lad anyway so this is going to be my match preview then the uh, match vlog at the end of this week against Man United which the game I'm going to talk to you about and then obviously we've got two more away games I can't make them but there will be a match preview um, and then obviously the World Cup so this will sort of become an England uh, channel sort of coming up to the World Cup and anyway you'll see so well, without any further ado guys if you like my channel please subscribe put a big fat thumbs up on the end if you enjoy it and let's go so the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the, our last five form uh, last five results between Brighton and uh, Man United and that and Brighton have drawn, drawn, lost drawn, lost um, obviously one of the big challenges we've had is when we lost to our rivals 3-2 for any of you that don't know it's Crystal Palace um, I ain't gonna get into that now um, but not winning in the last five Going up against Man United, uh, I feel a bit confident, but then there's other bits I don't. Um, but so that's our last five. Um, then you got Man United, who have won, won, lost, won, won. Uh, that lost, funny enough, is West Brom and Albion at Old Trafford. Uh, Man United lost one nil. The last time we met, um, not down here, that May United have not actually been to the Emmet Stadium yet. But the last time we met was in the cup, lost 1-0. Um, I can't remember who scored the goal. But then you, we got the league match where we also lost. Actually, no, I think it's 2-0 in the cup. Um, and then you got... The league game, which was 1-0, lost Lewis Dunk on goal. Uh, so, what Brighton got coming up, as I said, it's the last three, ga uh, last three games of the season. We've got Man United, Man City and Liverpool. Um, meanwhile, Man United are... Well, the car cool looks like he could be possibly out for the rest of the season which I think is going to cost them uh, whether they do come down and play the likes of Rashford or Scott McThomas or um, Martial or I think they're going to pick really carefully now because they've got the FA Cup final to think about um, so well, we've got that to think about and then uh, obviously I'm just trying to get second place fair enough to them um, so you got so they got a f they could come down here with a strong team they might come down here with a bit of a reserve uh, team uh, but without any further ado this is my Brighton 1-11 to so in goal is Matty Ryan uh, made some great uh, saves this season um, he made a great one up Burnley off the line uh, for you Brighton fans you know what he's done um, for you United fans you possibly know what he's done especially with games on telly now at right back I've gone with Bruno um, he this was a bit of a hard <coughs> uh, pick between him and Shalotto 
no disrespect to Charlotte, I think because Bruno's been here through the hard times for the club and also the good times, I think he makes play a bit different to what Charlotte does at the minute. I think Charlotte will feel that togetherness, uh, just not quite there yet. And in centre right back, I've gone with Duffy. Um, now he saved us. He's also made that mistake against Huddersfield. Um, now I've seen a couple. I've seen that a few times um, past the past couple of weeks. Uh, there was a couple of things that Dunk or Shalotto could have done. Um, Shalotto could have ran back up, uh, ran round him, got the ball, and then boot out himself. Uh, Dunker came back up, came across and done exactly the same sort of thing. So there's that to it. Um, but anyway, he's in my right centre back. My left centre back, I am going for Dunk. Uh, Rumours that he's leaving. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. Uh, to be honest, I don't think he will leave. Uh, obviously, being uh, homegrown Brighton. Um, if it is, I think it only be to a big club uh, like Liverpool, but I don't think he will spend all, all his time on the bench. So yeah, again, I'm still a bit in doubt over that. But anyway, left centre back, Lewis Dunk. Um, in left back, I've gone with Bong. Um, now he's had a tough couple of weeks. Uh, with um, ongoing situations way that uh, Burnley fans were burning him every time he got the ball because of that incident with Jay Rodriguez um, I think I think we need to try and get behind him a bit this game if possible I think he's going to come um, feel a bit unsure um, not saying nothing towards you Brighton fans don't worry. Um you got so if, if we could do something for him, maybe give him a bit of a cheer when they mention his name in the team lineup, whether it's um cheer him every time he gets the ball, you know, there's stuff like that. I think we need to make him feel a bit more welcome back into the club. Right, and now this is where I'm gonna actually go for four four one one um, formation. I think Christian and really go back old school. Um, now I know you, a lot of you are probably gonna say the four four two. Um, he has admitted in earlier this season he will never play four four two. I don't know why, but anyway. Now in left midfield, I have gone with. Um, Iguero, Jose Iguero, sorry if I mispronounced his name, <coughs> excuse me, um, now he's had a great season, first season in the Premier League with Brighton, uh, I don't think there's a lot more he can do to make us feel like a sleep of, to be honest he's done a few good goals, he's had a few shots off target, I think if we could sweeten them shots up a bit more then we might be in for a really good goal scorer out on that wing. But for left mid, Iguero. Centre left, I'm going for Kyle. Um, even though Popper's back in this game, I don't think Popper will come straight back in. Uh, Chris Sheeran has a tendency to, uh, when players get sent off, Obviously, when you get injured, it's a bit different. But when you get sent off, you start from the bench and having to work your way back in. Now, in centre attack mid, I've gone with Groves. Um, obviously, you know why. Always plays there. Pretty good player uh, from where I am. And also, he done that good goal against West Ham earlier in this season. Uh, then you got the right centre mid, I've gone with Stevens. Uh, 
as I said I think proper start on the bench so that'd be off two centimetres. Uh, in right mid I have gone with Anthony Knockhart. Now I know some of you will disabuse him and you know give him a bit of stick. To be honest this is first solid season in the Prem I can't blame him I think he changes the team up. Um, same as Bruno, when Bruno and Lockhart on that same side, they changed the team up completely. Um, I think with his first solid Premier League season under his belt, I think he's not doing too badly. Uh, you saw him what we were like without him in the last game, uh, not the last one, the one before, I think it's actually the Huddersfield game. Uh, it don't quite look like the same out there. Um, but anyway, I'll go with Anthony Knockhart. And the striker role, uh, this has been difficult. Um, you've got a striker role, you've got the Joa, you've got the Guardia, and we've got Murray. And for this one, because of, red, because of what I read, I'll go with the Joa. <coughs> um, I watched the Burnley game. Um, I think what Chris Hughes is trying to do is make sure we get the show out in the summer um, along with LaGuardia and Murray no disrespect to Sam Bulldog uh, I don't think he's quite quality put in the comments if you dis disagree I don't think he has got that sort of quality for the Prem uh, he has played a few minutes out but the one mistake I think we have made is not playing so I straight off the special weapon and straight back in there. Um, so that's my 1 to 11. That's the end of this video. Sorry it's a bit longer than what uh, I intended it to be. Anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Leave a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.